Hi boys and girls and welcome to this week's Flipped Learning for Maths. This week we'll be learning how to represent numbers using concrete resources. For this lesson you will need some cubes or pneumocon and a pen and paper. Let's get started. How can we show 12 using cubes? That's right, we could count the cubes individually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Super, you did some really good counting with me. But is there a nicer way that we can show twelve using the cubes? Because right now they're in a big mess on the middle of my screen. What a clever idea! We could group our orange cubes together. We could make a tower of 10 cubes all together. Let's count them just to make sure I have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have taken 10 of my cubes and put them in a tower of 10 or made a rod of 10. And then I have two cubes left over by themselves. This is much easier for me to count because I know by looking at my rod that I have 10, 11, 12. I have one 10 and I have two ones left over. I have two cubes left over. I have 12. Well done, you are very good at this. Let's see if we can show these numbers using groups of tens and ones. Let's read the first number together. It's 17. I can see that I have one group of 10 and seven cubes, seven ones. Let's see if we can make that number using the cubes. Here's my group of 10 and I need seven ones or seven cubes by themselves. Now, I better just double check my answer by counting. I know that my rod or my tower is always 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Well done. We definitely put 17 cubes in our box. Let's read the second number together. It is 19. Well done! We can break 19 into 110 and 9 ones or 9 cubes. Let's do it. 110 and 9 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. We have made 19, but let's just double check by counting. Remember, our rod or tower is always 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Fantastic counting. Pause the video and see if you can try our third number by yourself. It's 23. Think about how many towers of 10 we will need and how many cubes we will need as well. When you've finished, play the video and we'll complete it together. Let's see how you got on. Our number is 23 which means we have two groups of 10 and three ones left over. Well done. Let's see if we can show that using the cubes. 10, 20, 1, 2, 
23. 23. Well done, you are getting very good at representing numbers using concrete materials. Pause the video and see if you can guess what numbers are shown here. Let me give you a tip before you go. Remember, every time you see our tower or rod, that is 10 cubes. So you don't need to start counting from 1. You can start from 10 and count on. This will make your counting much quicker. You can use cubes to help you at home. And when you finish the activity, play the video again and we will count together. Good luck. Let's see how you got on. Here we have one rod of 10. We have one 10. I can write that under it just so I remember. Then I can count how many ones. One, two, three, four, five. I have five ones. So I'm going to write that under my ones too. I have one ten and five ones. I think I have 15 cubes altogether. But I'd better count just to double check. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well done, you're such a good help. Let's try our second one. I can see one rod or tower of 10. And then I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. I have eight ones. I think that I have 18 cubes in this box, but I better double check by counting. Remember, our tower of cubes is always 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Great work! There's 18 cubes in this box. We were right. Let's try our final one. This time I can see one, two rods of ten, two groups of ten. I'm going to write that underneath so I don't forget. And I can see one, two, three cubes by themselves. Three ones. I think that I have twenty three cubes in this box. Shall we have a look by counting? I know that each rod is 10, so I can count in tens to begin. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. You are superb. Let's have a marshmallow clap. Well done. Now I've got some more for you to try all by yourself. Pause the video and see if you can complete them. And when you are finished, come back and we will try them together. Well, let's see how you got on. In the first box, I can see one ten and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. I know that there is 17 cubes in box number one. In the second box, I can see one, two rods of ten. And I can see one, two, three, four, five ones or five cubes. I know that there are 25 cubes in this box. And finally, I can see one, two, three towers of ten, or three groups of ten, and just one cube by itself. I know that there are 31 cubes in the last box. Now let's try and apply our skills by answering some trickier questions. Which group has the most cubes, group A or group B? Do you know how we could solve this? 
Well done! We could find out how many cubes are in group A and how many cubes are in group B. Then we could compare the totals and see which number is bigger. I've already started counting how many cubes in group A. I can see that there are two groups of ten, two tens, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. I know that there are 27 cubes in group A. Now let's try group B. I can see that there are one, two groups of 10 or two tens in group B. And I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cubes or nine ones in group B. I know that there are 29 cubes in group B. So which group has the most cubes? You're right, it's group B because 29 is greater than 27. Super work. Let's try this challenge. You need to figure out if group A has more cubes than group B or if group A has less cubes than group B. You can do this by finding the totals and then comparing them to see which number is bigger. Give it a try by yourself and when you're finished we will work on this challenge together. Good luck! Let's see how you got on. In group A, I can see one group of 10 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cubes or seven ones. I know that group A has 17 cubes. In group B, I can see one, two groups of 10 and one, two, three, four cubes. Group B has 24 cubes. Can you spot the bigger number? Well done. 24 is greater than 17. This means that group A has less cubes. Less cubes than group B. Well done, you are so good at this. If you want to continue practicing at home, why not get some number cards and pick one? Then you can challenge yourself to show the number using cubes as fast as you can. Best of luck and have lots of fun. See you next time.